Hello, everybody. I'm Jillian Lena. This is a sweet treat run, and I have the fabulous Xanthi. Are you ready to eat some sweets today? Oh my god, I'm a snacker. Let's do it. Okay, so you told me the snacks that you liked. I need to like pin this. Thank you. Your little shirt's a little whatever, but this is at least cuter than You know than what? I was here. trying to like keep it like cash because I'm like, we're in a car and then you come like tits out for the boys. I'm and sorry. No, you came serving C-U-N-T and I love it for us. T tits out for the ladies. Tits out for the ladies, not the boys. The ladies. I'm sorry. For the female gaze. We got a list of your favorite snacks. Yay! And we got them all here. What is the go-to? Like, what is your top favorite snack? Oh my god, I'm a Cheetos girly. I knew it. I love I Cheetos. Knew it. I'm like cheesy in person and I'm cheesy with my snacks. Should we should we dive into the cheese? Oh my god, let's do it. Oh wow. I, got you, two. I don't know. They're both let's switch. I had a feeling. Oh my god, I wanna try something different. Ooh, and popcorn. I wanna smell it. Is that weird? Mm mm. I like that. You know that. when you open up chips? You ever notice they taste like or smell like ass? Do they? Yeah. Maybe I like that smell. I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, I like a dirty ass. <laughs> a cheesy one. Yummy. Mm. Period, period, period. Oh my, God, my, my fingers are going to be orange, but that's okay. No, it doesn't matter. A lot of us know you from The Circle first, then recently Perfect Match. What is something that happened on set that nobody got to see on either shows? Ooh. Okay, so on The Circle, it was a little bit more you know, heartfelt, wholesome, I'd like to say. So, mm -hmm. like, a lot of my conversations with um, Brett, he was the guy I was with on The Circle, We he actually was, like, going... He just lost his mom at the time, and my father was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. So we really, like, had a lot of heartfelt conversations about, like, our experiences oh and our God. family. Yeah. yeah, so we had, like, a lot of lovey you know, lovey conversations and they meant the world to me because you're in a game and you're just sitting there talking and thinking strategy all day long. So it was so nice to just sit back and have like a real conversation with someone mm -hmm. about like real life things going on right now. You know, you guys didn't share that on the show, did you? No, no. we did not I mean, when we got our, our home videos, it was funny because not funny, haha, -ha, but ironic, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> his dad um, was giving him his family message because we got family messages from back home and I knew when I saw my family message, I had my mom, my aunt, and my uncle, but not my father. So I had known that something was, you know, <sighs> going wrong with my dad. And I had told the producers, I was like, if anything goes wrong with my father back home, let me know, like, I'm off the show. But he didn't want that for me. So he didn't tell anybody anything. Mm. And um, it was really, really hard. So when I got back home, actually, my dad passed away six days later from I'm the circle. so sorry. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. It was definitely a wake-up call and um, opened my mind up to a lot of different things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah, it was hard. It was hard. But for perfect match. I'm, like, kind of surprised they didn't air this part. But there was a moment after the kissing challenge, which... Okay, which is also so <laughs> shasty. Like... I, hopefully everybody's got like check for everything because... baby everybody was sick the day after the kissing challenge i was like oh. i told you that's why i'm not doing it and oh you know God. it's like one of those things where it's like okay maybe for some people it's fun to kiss that many people and that's fine no shade mm -hmm. or tea but like i'm such for a me, oh, same though and also yeah. like some of the cast members for the guys it's like i know your reputation oh we, we know where that mouth is bad or we I'm don't know names, but we don't or know. We, we don't, don't know we don't want to know we i don't, don't want to know so it was like you know i wasn't comfortable with it and mm -hmm. it, i had just matched with steven the night before so it's like we barely know each other's last names, and now I'm going to sit here and put my tongue down your throat? Absolutely not. Good on so, you. So, yeah, you know, it was like, everyone goes on reality TV, and they think, like, you have to do everything that they ask you to do. But it's reality, so everyone's reality is different, you know? So after the kissing challenge, we were in the kitchen, and it was actually Tolu, Elise, and I, and we were, like, eating. And Harry Jowsey comes over. Mm -mm. And I'm like, what does he want right now? Mind you, I'm sitting down. Harry's like 6'5". I'm 5'5", I'm five five, okay? And I'm sitting down and he comes up to me and he goes, um, you know, don't you think that you're demeaning other women by not participating in the kissing challenge? And I'm like, my little booty, I'm like, I know damn well, Harry, you're not telling me about demeaning other women, no, you know? period. Uh, and, so hawking Mr. Fucking Cream Pie in somebody. Oh, that was so, I, that? I couldn't even believe they aired that. I was shook to my core. Um, Somebody on production hates him. They're like, we're going to ruin him. Baby, I had to ask what a cream pie was. I didn't even know. Stop. <laughs> and then when I found out, I was like, oh. You're like, oh. Well, good thing I asked that off camera. God. But he's, he's like talking to me. And mind you, again, I'm sitting down. So I was like, I know you're not. And he was like, well, don't you think you're taking away the actual experience and you're making the other women look bad? Like, you think you're too good? 
And I put it very simple for him, for even anyone to understand. Yeah. And I was like, look, Harry, I would never kiss you in real life, so I'm not kissing you in a game. And he said, fair enough, and walked away. And I was like, that's really it. Like, it's not that deep. Like, yeah. we don't know when the kissing challenge is going to happen. We don't know, you know, even if there was going to be a kissing challenge. So we don't know anything. Yeah. Um, but I'm, like, surprised I didn't air that. Because, that's hilarious. But, you know, they did air the part where I was like, it's just not my vibe. And it's that simple, you know? Yeah. No, that's I... That's relatable. I would be the same way. That's just, like, so grimy. But the fact that he's just like, okay, fair enough. Like, Yeah, David, because he got it, it. But it was like, good try with that. One thing about me, if you're going to come to me with an argument or some type of confrontation, I love confrontation, let's get it, mm -hmm. but come with facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't, I will for you, and you're just going to... I feel like it's the Boston. It's the East Coast. East Coast, you. baby. Your accent, <laughs> so strong. I love it. It's my little alter ego. Everyone's like, is it real? And I'm like, no, it just helps me accentuate. Is it real? Wait, are you serious? Yeah. You're like my, putting it on? Yeah, it's just my little alter ego. Oh, no, girl, everybody stop. thinks it's, everyone thinks it's real, but <laughs> Wait, it's just become so a part of me now. Like, okay. if I'm angry, I'm like, don't you dare. Or if I'm happy, I'm like, let's get it. You know, like Wait, little I things. Love that. It's just like my little okay. alter ego, but it's become me now. Yeah, just, does the alter ego have a name or is it just kind of like an extension. Oh, so my, my, my gay best friend, he calls me Bobbyana. Bobbyana is When fire. I have the accent. Bobbyana fucking eat. I'm so obsessed. if you see me on Instagram, I'm like, Bobbyana. It's, that's what it is. It's Bobbyana. Oh, that's her. She strikes again. I can't do any more long hair. You know, I got to keep the bob going right now. I love it. I have leave-in right now. That's why I put my hair up. Girl, period. Because one fell out this morning. I'm like, I'm not having a mishap. <laughs> no, because one falls off, they all fall they off. They all start. That's the scary the thing. one. I was like, no, she, everybody. Everybody's going to be like, we're out. I feel like for me, when I have short hair, I feel my sexiest. Really? See, I really most do. most girls, because I cut my hair short, and then I was like, yeah, no. It's no? Not it. I look like berries and cream. Not dude. berries and cream, Or like baby. I'm giving like Lord Farquaad, and I, I like can't feel. No, you definitely are not giving Lord Farquaad, but that's but a whole other that, thing. Yeah, you do rock a bob. Thank you. You have thicker hair, too. I have such thick yeah. hair. Like when my hairstylist comes in, she goes every week, she's like, oh my God, I forget how much freaking hair you have, but yeah. it's the Greek in me. Yeah, oh my gosh, the Greek. Okay, wait, how do you pronounce your last name? And I know everybody asks you this. Yeah, okay, so do you want to hear my full name? Yeah. Okay, so I'll say it with the... I'll say it the way With I would the say Greek it. Greek Bobiana yeah. accent or Greek accent? No, Greek accent. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's Xanthi Ioana Perdicomatis. Isn't that kind of pretty? That's stunning. <laughs> Isn't that kind of pretty? And then. Wait, can you say it again? Yeah, okay, so Xanthi Ioana Perdicomatis. Xanthi. <laughs> Her face right now. <laughs> Xanthi. Am I saying Xanthi right? Okay, so think of the X as like a KS. Xanthi. 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 Oh, with an Okay. Kind of like a KS. That's how we would pronounce it. Like X. Xanthi. Girl, I can't talk. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Xanthi. Okay, so think of literally like a KS. Like X. X. Exactly. Xanthi. 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 This will be the whole podcast. Xanthi. Xanthi. No, because I had Tolu on. Tolu. Tolu. And I was like, I am not going to mispronounce. Pronou yeah, mispronounce this name. And of course, the la I was like, thank you for being here, Tolu. I was <laughs> like, oh, I got roasted. In the oh no. But it's okay. We're cool. Okay. It's all right. All right. It's she okay. loves me. I we love make her. Mistakes. We're good. We yeah. Make mistakes. I never get offended, honestly, because I'm just kind of like, I know your name is very important. Yeah. But I, I don't get offended only because there's so many different places in the world with different types of names and you can't just expect everyone to automatically get it so mm -hmm. I'm more like laid back with it um definitely I love when people ask so thank you for yeah, that yeah yeah of course but, but yeah. I'm if I pronounce it wrong just be like, be like bitch, Santhi. after perfect match are we dating okay honestly I will say me too and with a full mouth how bad is that <laughs> like honestly no so Perfect match. Uh, before, I was, like, kind of a girl that was, like, only talking to one guy. And then if I wasn't, I wasn't talking to any. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't like to entertain. Okay. But after perfect match, I just started, like, expanding my horizons. So okay. I was like, why not have a Rasta? So that's what I have, a little Rasta. So it's good. No one on my roster is hubby material. That's the sad part. Okay. So I would say the dating game is so tough right now because people have, like, so much ego, right? They're like, you're not texting me, you're not calling me, you didn't do X, Y, and Z. And it's mm -hmm. kind of like, at the end of the day, we're all humans, right? Right, right, right. So just be normal, like have a conversation. You want to talk <laughs> to someone, call them. You yeah. want to you wanna take them out, ask them. What's the worst someone's going to say? No. no. Yeah. Instead, you're like missing out on all these opportunities. So I don't know. I feel like I'm very open when it comes to dating. I'm very open when it comes to like meeting someone I really like. I mm -hmm. let them know. Because I'm 28. I don't have time and I, and I don't want to 
you know, sit here and waste my time anymore. Like I am, if I do get into a relationship, I'm definitely looking for something serious. Yeah. You know, I'm a Greek girl, so I want a big baby. I want yeah, a baby. Yeah, and you guys are so family focused. Yeah, we so. are. And you know, big families. I want like at least three kids, you oh know? God. I'm little, but we gonna do it. We gonna do it one day. <laughs> I just feel like sometimes a lot of people, you know, I saw this meme the other day and it said, everyone wants to match energy and that's the new thing, but dirt uh -huh. doesn't clean dirt. And I'm like, amen. Thank yeah. you. Like repost, repost. You know, I went on a date with a guy and I really saw some potential in him, mm -hmm. but then it just got so like, oh, I have work and I'm busy. And I'm like, sweetie, I'm in a new state every month. Like I'm busy, yeah, okay? Yeah. And I do work every single day. Like when you like someone, you just make time for them. Exactly. I think that's like the most important thing, like realizing if someone's not matching that energy, don't fucking put up with it. Like, like why should you? No, no, no. It's a waste shouldn't. of time. Right, exactly. So you like felt like that and you're just like, okay, no. I'm the queen of ghosting. Like really? my friends you know ghost. that. Yeah, I, like, okay, so when I say ghost, I don't just sit there and, like, say Cut goodbye. Okay. I will tell you, be like, you know, like, for example, I'd be like, so are, like, what are we doing? What are we, you know, where are we going? Or, like, are we going out this weekend? Or, like, I'll call you tonight or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if I don't feel that that, you know, initial um, pull towards me, like, I have till that to them, then, yeah, I'll just be like, why should I answer you? You didn't want to yeah. call me that night. Why should I answer you? No. So, yeah, I take pride in it. Yes, I'm going to ghost you. You're wasting my time. My time is money. Goodbye. You know, they say, like, some people close the chapter, but I burn the book, baby. Mm, I'm the like, same that's way. It. Yeah, that's it. If you cross me, what, what's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I love Aquariuses. Yep. I'm and a Gemini. You? Oh, all my best friends are Gemini. We are supposed to be, like, the most compatible, like, friendship-wise. Yes, because you are, you guys are always a good balance. Yeah. But you also have, like, an either very fiery side or you're yeah. very like chill calm but we're both loyal yes yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. good thing and i appreciate loyalty that's that was like the big thing on me with perfect match like mm -hmm. when you really like someone in the real world there's so many options right but yeah. when you really like someone you just really like them and you want to connect with them so it was a very interesting thing for me to watch people being like well i'm gonna test this out and go on this date with this person and i'm yeah. gonna whatever because at the end of the day like you know who you like and you know who you vibe with and like if things are so freaking good then like why go jump ship like the grass is green where you water it not on the other side Ooh, that yeah i mean okay was there anybody on perfect match that you didn't get the opportunity to match with that you were intrigued by or yeah i'd say you know like going back to like the whole like loyalty thing like justin and i didn't really have like that big of um a connection on mm -hmm. the show we didn't really chat that much it was more like surface level about being from boston yeah and then afterwards we went out recently to like this event in the city and we had a great time and we like we're both you know we're kind of like like too bad we didn't get to talk that much on perfect match but we're just friends right now um but it was it was just nice to get to know him off camera as well with not yeah. all these all the pressure and everything going on. So mm -hmm. I'd say probably Justin if I had to choose. Um, but you know, everyone kind of showed their colors right away. Who from the cast, if you want to name names, you can, if we want to get tea and we want to get <laughs> scandalous, but who was completely different once the cameras were off? Okay, so I'll say this. Mm -hmm. I'll start off by saying this. I always say and preach and I really live by it because what we do is not easy, right? Like putting ourselves out there, getting vulnerable. Like for some people, they live for this stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, like, I know how it feels to be, you know, a little scared to put yourself out there. So I'll start off there. I will say a lot of the cast, men and women, really put it on for the camera. And then when they're off camera, it's kind of like, oh, like, who are you? So you're not that nice. You know what I mean? Or like, yeah. honey, like, we are <laughs> so funny because what did Chase say? We were like A, B celebrities and I'm like that is so not the case like wait who said that I think Chase from season one on perfect match he was like oh was, when he was like on a date with Carousel he was like we can be A-list B-list celebrities like whatever you want to call it and I'm like but we're so not like we are you know Maybe. <laughs> you know that was the whole thing <laughs> last season but like it's like we're so not like we're actually people like yes we do very well in our careers like mm -hmm. a lot of us do very well in our careers like yes we go to these events and we get flied out and like you know we get basically get everything sponsored and whatever yeah, yeah. which is amazing and a blessing but I'm a big believer on like staying humble we all run our blood yeah. you know what I mean we're all from somewhere like let's not forget our roots mm -hmm. so I have my core girl group um which I'll shout out so you get an idea mm -hmm. but like Christine Dominique Britton those are my three girls like yeah we hang out and talk almost every day still oh, I love that. so you know I found my core group that I think was very you know solid but I think a lot of people on Perfect Match put on a really good show. 
a really good show. It would you say more is. so from the girls or from the guys? I would say more from the guys. Mm. More from the guys for sure because I think a lot of the women while dating on Perfect Match, maybe everyone had an agenda, but I think once they started growing their connections, I think, you know, us girlies, we love love or whatever. I know, I know. So it went like this, you know? Mm. Everyone thought that they could kind of, I mean, it kind of looked like, right? Everyone kind of thought that they could change the guy because that's us women, right? It's kind of normal for yeah. us to always be like, no, we're the ones that's going to change them. Yeah. And unfortunately, all the couples didn't even last like a day or two after. Not the, even a day. I mean, a lot went down once the camera stopped rolling. Which is crazy. Except Nigel and Christine. They lasted about like nine months, like so almost a year after the show. Yeah, they like. No way. They tried working on it with each other. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, they did. So like they were the, and obviously they won. So yeah. We did make a good choice for all the haters out there. No, because I'm standing I was, on I it. I was a hater. I was like, why the fuck? We and pick this random couple that just came out of nowhere. Because people have to remember, you guys only see 20% of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. 20%. Like, yeah. I think Perfect Match should have been like 25 episodes. Truly. Because of all the team. I watching and ready. Right. It should be like a Love Island. Like, how many episodes exactly. of Love Island are there? Like, 80. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm like, we didn't get enough shown. So, I know there's like a whole thing going around that like... Um, there was a pact between the people on the outside and a pact from the people on the inside. But like, let's be real. Perfect match has strategy. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's saying there was no strategy involved, they lying. Yeah. They're lying. Yeah. So there was like a thing on the inside of the house where, you know, they kind of had to switch up the whole dynamic of the show because everyone was so territorial of their spot and their partners in the house. And given the fact that no one lasted after more than like a, we'll say a week to be nice, more yeah. than a week afterwards. Mm. It's like, it's not that serious. Like, if, if you want to test the waters, like, test the waters, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's why they had the cenote and the grand mixer all together and stuff like that. Because there was a lot going on off camera that wasn't shown. And actually, Nigel and Christine were vibing a lot during the grand mixer. They weren't even, like, really talking to that many other people that were already uh, in the okay. house, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it really did make a lot of sense. Um, and then there was a lot of things, at least for the cenote day, that weren't aired for the guys. So I was just, you know, I, I literally smelled it the minute I walked in. Like yeah. you gave me like, you you had like Harry Jowsey, which he's Harry Jowsey. Yeah. You have like some guy who's 22 years old, mm -mm. just got off of Squid Games and like, you know, whatever he thinks he is. Yeah. And then you have like the bad boy and then you have little Izzy. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you people gotta like actually pay attention. Like who are we working with here? Yeah, yeah. And I went in like, pure intentions right so i just didn't purely feel anything towards anyone right away i, mean, but I get it you don't know who's getting casted so you go on there saying okay i'm gonna be open to the experience you know yeah people are so quick to judge but it's like would you date someone you don't want to date no right Not so why should i for cameras would you money. kiss someone no no so why should i yeah. you know on the perfect match okay. you're looking for compatibility yes what is your like ideal person like what are you looking for okay so I love a man with confidence. Mm. And I don't say that lightly. Yeah. Because, you know, all the guys or many men want this, like, pretty girl. They want a bad B or whatever. But they don't know how to handle her. That's so true. And, like, you have to have confidence. Like, you can't be insecure. You can't be in your head about things. Like, you have to be like, that's my girl. And she's a hottie. You know? Mm -hmm. So confidence is huge for me. I had, like, so many issues in my past relationships with, like, jealousy and, like, trust issues and, like, all these crazy things because they were insecure. Yeah, yeah. Loyalty is huge for me. You mm -hmm. have to be loyal. Like, if you have a past with cheating and stuff, that's a huge red flag for me. Would you like, date somebody who cheated? Maybe one time, but more than once, absolutely not. Because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. always, you're still human, right? There's always, like... Yeah, I know it's tricky and it's tough, but sometimes you never know. Like I don't condone it, I don't support it, I don't. Yeah. Not I'm not making an excuse for it, but like sometimes you're human and shit happens. You mm -hmm. know, I'm old fashioned too. You know, like you're liking another girl's photo while we're dating in a bikini, Ooh. you're cheating on me. I don't care. I, I don't care. I feel like that is cheating. 100%. Yeah, 100 yeah, 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 yeah. because it's disrespectful. Like, would you like it if I sat there and liked a guy's picture that was hotter than you in a freaking bikini? I mean, in his little little shorts or whatever. No, no, and you the wouldn't. Excuses that men will make, like. Like, I've known it forever. I like, oh, I didn't know I like like that. It's like, uh, you don't uh, <laughs> you've known her forever is not an excuse. No, and I don't give a fuck who she is. No, literally, you're, like, 
literally blood. The older I get, the more important this is for me is someone who's very family oriented. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because like family to me is everything. Like I never say that lightly either. Like I don't know what I would do without my family. Like when my father passed away, he passed, like I said, six days after the circle. So when he passed away, it's going to sound corny, but it's so true. Like I just, it really like woke me up that life is so short and yeah. you're really not promised tomorrow. My ex-boyfriend, it was the last boyfriend I had dated before my dad. Mm -hmm. And obviously my dad is dying and like, you know, or he died and he was dying. And yeah. I took care of my dad full time with my family. Like me and my mom were like full time caregivers oh my for my dad. Gosh. Oh yeah. And like, I don't know what he expected for me to be like up and at it and like, la la la, like all day, every day, like I usually am. But it's yeah. like, no, I'm losing my dad, my pride yeah. and joy, you know? Right. So we tried working on things in the midst of like my dad passing away and things like that. And, you know, as things were getting more severe with him and a week afterwards, he was like, didn't like my attitude after a week after my dad died. What attitude? It's called mourning. Yeah. It's called mourning. And he was like, you're toxic. I was like, I'm toxic and you're a piece of shit. So have a good one. And he completely like, we never spoke again. Never had an after breakup conversation. Good nothing, nothing, on nothing. You. But it's just like, I was in the mentality at the time too, which I still kind of am, where it's like, if I could lose my dad, I can lose anyone. Like, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm good. Yeah. Obviously, except my family, like my close family. But I was just like, dude, get a clue. Like, you know, I don't know what relationship you have with your family to a certain extent, but like my family is everything. And if you can't handle me being upset and down bad for a week after my father passed away, goodbye. Right. Goodbye. One of the things my dad told me, right, and I use it to this day with friends, family, relationships, everything. He said to me, when people tell you something about themselves, listen to that. Because mm -hmm. they're not just talking. You're you're not going to change their mind. You're not yeah. going to change who, especially when they're in their 30s or whatever, you know, like really pay attention. I remember I was like dating this guy and he was like, oh, I don't want to get married until like five more years. And I'm like, I'm 28. Like, what? Five years. And I was like, ah, you know, that little girl, menta that mentality where it's like, Back I'll switch. Change. Exactly. Yeah. I'll switch his mind. Mm -hmm. um, and as like a year went on, it was like he didn't even he didn't even just talk about like a future nothing it was so complacent and i was like okay maybe my dad is so right like people tell you who they are you have to listen like obviously you know trial and error but mm -hmm. you have to listen so yeah. if you tell me you're not ready for a relationship cool see you have a good day yeah. talk to someone else on your roster not me but you have a roster now i have a roster now <laughs> i love that i'm snitching on myself i know like everybody's watching this they're like well fuck I well we were... if you're on my roster you're not my husband so i'm so sorry sorry this is the press release right here right literally, now literally though bitches. i'm gonna get so many text messages good thing my phone not so many how many how many <laughs> okay so here's my thing okay so i travel a lot mm -hmm. oh my god girl <laughs> you're like drake you have a fucking bitch in every city God, yeah, God, yeah. okay <laughs> so not in every city but you know i would say like let me make this very clear i do not and no shade or tea to anyone how you how you want to live your life is your decision but like i don't go around sleeping around with people okay so when I say roster, it's not, I'm sitting here sleeping with five men at a time. Absolutely not. Unless you're my boyfriend, actually, I will not sleep with you. Okay, you're just talking. Yeah, fun fact. Yeah. Uh, you know, talking, dating, maybe a little smooch here and there, whatever. You know, whatever you want to call it. But like... <laughs> no, Miss Babiana. Miss Babiana's coming out. Miss Babiana. <laughs> but like, I would say there's a solid, uh, a solid four on my roster. None of them live in the same place. But now they're all gonna know. They're all gonna know. <laughs> oh well, they're not Whatever, my husbands. Whatever, they're not the husbands. They're not my husbands. And yeah. honestly, I, like I said, once I find the right guy, I'm so quick to be like, doop, psh, see you later. Of course. Goodbye. Yeah. I don't even, I don't owe you anything. Goodbye. Yeah. And but also, you're coming off like something so crazy, like perfect match. You kind of need it, like. Well, I'm just. Just to, explore, yeah, right? Just have fun. Yeah. Because yeah, that was a lot. I've never dated anyone actually from the United States. Except, like, maybe once when I was, this like... This is worldwide. Who? In... <laughs> Wait, no. so they're... Okay, they're not even in different area codes. They're in different countries. A lot of them That's are, That's the way yeah. to do it. Yeah, a lot of them Because then are. no one's going to be talking. We're going to have, like, Chris Brown, two of my bitches in the club. No, but also I have a thing with accents. You I do. I mean, accent. Bobbiana. Yeah, Bobbiana. Oh, my God, you're so right. Wait, yeah. maybe it's an inner thing, and I never realized. It's like a... It's... This is deep-rooted. This is <laughs> no, therapy. No, I know. Babe. You're right. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> what's, like, your hottest accent? Like, what's the one that you're just like, oh, my God, yes? Oh, God. My friends kill me all the time, but I love Arabs. My little hubby, Yalla. Oh. Ah, I love a good... 
You yeah. Know? My biggest love, actually, he was from Dubai. He and I are still very close to this day. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't get mad when you see I have a Rasta. Yeah, I love them, but they love me too, so it's okay. Yeah, it's mutual. It's mutual. It's all love. What is your go-to period snack? Um, I like, it's so cliche, but chocolate. Like anything chocolate. Damn it. Like, we don't have chocolate. I know, well, no, because I was going to say like ice cream, but it's it's too hot in here. It's so we can't. It would Yeah. Not, well, it's not hot in here, but you know, it's too hot in general. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we got the two hotties. <laughs> we got the two hotties. But Love yeah, it. I would think like ch like ice cream, something chocolate, like fudge or like Rocky Road or okay. like things like that. Do you have like, like a that. weird food combo when you get your period? I, I love know. pickles with vanilla ice cream. Salty okay. pickles with vanilla I ice cream. I do pickles and hot Cheetos. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so good. I tried that pickle thing where you put in the Takis, the Chamoy. Takis? Okay, I love Takis. But? But I'm more hot Cheetos. Like, okay, if you had to pick. Oh, hot Cheetos, 100%. Okay. Oh, gee. Yeah, 100%. Takis burn my tongue. Like I can't like. They're not enjoyable, the next day. right? Like they're so enjoyable. Where like I have too many, and then it's like I'm fucked. No, and they're actually like really messed up. Like if you eat a whole bag, oh, I'll, I'll be on the before. toilet. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. So I don't do takis that much anymore. Okay, so out of these, if you had to pick a period snack, honestly, right now it'd be between these and then the sweet tart robes. Let's bring these back. All right, up. let's do it then. Let's do it. Have you ever had these? No, I've never had these, and I didn't even know they existed. No, 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 no. When I tell you I've put all my friends onto these, you're gonna love them because they're like <laughs> ASMR. Go ahead. ASMR. Bitch, I can't do it. Oh, oh there we go. Oh my god. Oh wait, look, these are perfect. Okay, there you go. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wait, wrong way. There we go. It's like classic. <laughs> all right, I want to see your, your first impression. Okay. <laughs> she said no. Oh, you like them? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Wait, fuck me up. No, you guys. Wait, I'm shook to my core. I know. And Dog they have snack. different flavors. Pearls grab. No, no, I'm telling you right now. On the plane, whether it's 5 in the morning or a red-eye flight, these are coming on the plane with me. I could finish this whole thing by myself, so I'm just not. Wow. Okay. He's like, another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Wait, Spectacular. What Give me 14, 14 of them right, right now. now. That's you. That's your accent. That's Babiana. Oh, my God. And the other one that's like... Your cousin was a Jehovah's Witness, and then he moved to Florida. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what is that one? That's so funny. That was a good, that, yeah, it's something like that. But I'm like, oh, my God, when I lose my voice, that's literally me. It's so bad. Like a fucking chain smoker. <laughs> yeah, literally. But not really. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't do a Boston accent. I wish I could. Say, park the car. Park the car. Mm-mm. Park. Park. The car. The car. Yeah, it's all in here. Ah. Park the car. Park the car. Even though I definitely don't talk like that, but yeah. Park the car, exactly. Park the car. Oh my God, some of my friends are so funny when they're angry or whatever, they just get right into it and they're like, I told him, dude, I told him when I was gonna tell him and he parked the car over there when I told him park it by the harbor and I was like, oh, is that how I sound? I mean, low key. <laughs> oh my but God. in the best way. Okay, I'll take it then. Yeah. I'll take it for now. Yeah. The accent, <laughs> it is what it yeah. is. It just comes out. Like, it's literally become a part. It was something that was like a joke between my friend. Actually, long story short, we were mm -hmm. at a restaurant. Yeah. And the bill was coming. And we were fighting over whose card. And I was like, I, all of a sudden, I don't know where this accent came from. And I was like, I hope it declines. And he comes back to me with the same accent. He goes, the debit don't decline. And then all of a sudden, we just sat there and we just kept going nonstop. And it never went away. Oh, my God. I love so, it. Shout out to my pookie back in Boston. He knows who he is. Okay. So. To sound serious. Okay. I can barely breathe in this top, but we're working on it. I don't, dude, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's fabulous. Boobiana, Bobby. Oh, you can tell that this one's my bigger one. Okay, yeah. Every. A little bit. Every it's not because I'm leaning. My bigger one. Oh, no. Is this your one left one, one your right one? Mm hmm. This one's a little bit. She's which always... one's more sensitive? Do you have a sensitive one? Oh. You know what I um, found out? <laughs> what? So, the labia. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Labia Menora. So, she. There's a certain side that's more sensitive. Really? Do you have a certain side of your clip that's more sensitive? No, I think I'm pretty even on that one. I'm not. Honestly, I'm are a left you? Lip. Wait, I maybe I gotta pay attention more. Tap in. I know. I think, think I need it. to pay attention because I was like, I think I'm pretty even, but maybe not. I don't know. So it's like this side. So you're right. Yeah. I need all the stimulation over here. You know, I think it's probably to my left because everything on my le I'm more sensitive on my left side in general. Hmm. So Are you're you a righty? No, I'm a righty. Oh, I'm a lefty. Oh, Maybe it's weird. something like right opposite. Not us trying to do science. Like, <laughs> like welcome to, to our, our science class. class. Like, yeah. 
Hi, everyone. Welcome to science class. Being on both of these shows, do you feel that it has impacted your self-love or your, like, growth of, like, your self-care journey? Yeah, definitely. I think putting yourself... It wasn't necessarily the ideas of the shows and, like, what you did on the show. It's more, like, afterwards and watching yourself on television. Yeah. So, like, I will say, like, the common thing I had for both the Circle and Perfect match and what I heard from, like, my loved ones and my close ones were, that's you. Like, I literally feel like I'm sitting there on television, like, just watching my girl, like, live her life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I was, like, so proud, especially on Perfect Match because... You don't know what's going to air. Yeah. You don't know how they're going to edit it. Yeah. Like, you know nothing, right? So the yeah. only thing you can really do is, like, show who you are. So I was, like, so proud. Thank you. <laughs> I was so proud to watch myself mm -hmm. and be, like, that's me. And, like, recognize myself. And, like, even when I didn't do the challenge or when I, you know, had that little snitcheroo on the boys or whatever, you know. I'm like, but that's me. Like, you mess with my girls, I'm going to let you know. Yeah. Or, like, I don't like something, I'm going to let you know. Or if yeah. I love something, I'm going to give you a little kiss because I love you, you yeah. know? So that's really who I am. So it just was, like, so amazing to just see myself on, on television. And, you know, it kind of brought me to a place where it's, like, you are growing into the type of woman that you're meant to be mm. and keep rolling with it. So yeah. I don't take any shit. I don't sit there and do things that I don't want to do or like I focus on things that make me really happy and be around people that I love and just you know not like always the things that they want us to do in this industry so right 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 I would say afterwards especially after perfect match I got a whole new self-respect for myself truly wow, and I'm like proud yeah. to say it yeah no because that like self-love especially like when you see yourself <laughs> <laughs> these I can't stop I'm like it's in my face when you see yourself and it's like you're like wow like I'm really proud of this girl I think that's, like, such a beautiful thing to, like, yeah. be able to say, like... Also, like, a funny thing is when you're watching yourself on camera, like, people are always like, what are you, what are you scared about for Perfect Match? Like, what, what's something that you were so worried about? And I was like, honestly, I just wanted to make sure I looked good on camera because it's also, like, it's there forever. Yeah. It's, like, play, pause, rewind, you know? So watching watching it, too, I was like, oh, my God, thank God. We look good. We were a little sweaty, but we looked, well, we looked good, good, you know? So yeah. I feel like finding ways to just love things about you, like not comparing yourself like that's the biggest thing right because in my industry there's baddies all around yeah of course let's get a round of applause for them right there's baddies all around mm -hmm. so and there's all different types of beauty so like i always say like you're in your own lane mm -hmm. so i watched that show and i was just like not comparing myself to anybody i'm just looking at it, i was like i look like a baddie you know yeah. and it was just felt so good and like now i'm kind of like you know i haven't i don't work out as much as i used to i'm like very you know busy yeah, honestly right now go. like on the go right now so like i'm just learning to like literally love all the stages i'm in and mm -hmm. it's not easy but honestly it's all a mindset so if you're instead of comparing yourself to what you see out there and just sticking to who you want to be and what what you are and just really loving it yeah and loving yourself then what's anyone have to say about you, you know? i know i feel like it is so hard though like especially with social media and things like it's good that you were like, okay, no, I'm one of one. I'm staying in my lane. Because it's I feel true. like it's really hard for girls, like, to do that. No, like, definitely. In, like, especially in this industry, too. It's definitely. like, you really have to, even if, like, it's just, you're just wanting to post a photo. Like, we get so, like, fucking, fuck it, I'm not going to post anymore. Yeah. You know? And like, it's like. We, we look into every detail and mm -hmm, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it, there's no, like, there literally is no one else like you. Literally yeah. No one else. I think that's the biggest flex. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You know? So maybe I don't have the biggest butt, but we got a cute one, you know? Yeah. Maybe I don't. Or maybe, like, someone says, like, your lips can be bigger, your eyes can be more, fun, like, whatever. But it's just kind of like, for what? Like, you are who you are. The universe or God or whoever you believe in, you know, they gave you what you got. Work yeah. with it and yeah. make it, make it go ahead, you know? Yeah. I think the biggest flex is that no one else is like you. What is the craziest rumor? That you've heard about yourself. Oh my god. Let me think about this one. Just nibble on that. Sweet heart. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. We can thank Chris Hahn for this one. Let's hear it. So, he, he or somebody or the boys or whoever, whatever, made up a rumor mm -hmm. saying that I had a boyfriend while filming Perfect Match. And I'm like, boy, where? Like, if yeah. you knew the type of men that I date... They would never, they would never, you know? Yeah. And also, like, I'm such a loyal girl. Like, I don't, I wouldn't go on a dating show. It's a dating show, right? Yeah, so, right. like, whose boyfriend or girlfriend would be okay with them sitting there making out, lap dances, toe sucking, like, you know what I mean? Like, Not around other people. Nobody's, though. No one, no. So, it's like, that was the, that was the craziest rumor 
I've ever heard. I was just like, and knowing who I am too as a woman, like, good try, homeboy. Moving on to the next snack question. What childhood snack do you wish you had right now? Wish childhood Oh, okay. So there used to be these little gummies mm. from Walmart, specifically Walmart, okay? And please, guys, let me know if you've ever heard of these. They're like little smiley gummies all different colors and they're literally all different kind of smiley faces and okay. they only sold them at Walmart and I cannot find them anywhere anymore. That's what I wish I had. Okay. You think these smack? No, these absolutely no. slap. If you think they do, those smiley gummies from Walmart, even better. You're welcome. They were so good. Like if you love that, <laughs> then that. <laughs> the chewiness, the chewiness. Yes. Could you hear that? Right. I love that. it. They were so good. But yeah, smiley gummies from Walmart. Okay, let's talk about some friendship stuff. Okay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> this is what I like. Yay, girl talk. On the perfect match, you had a bunch of breakups. Yes. Friend breakups. Have you experienced one? In general or on perfect match? No, no, no. Just in general. A friend breakup. Yeah. Okay, so I've experienced a lot of friend breakups. Really? A lot, actually. When you are, like, very confident, it's hard for people who aren't as confident or have a lot of insecurities to be around someone who's very confident in themselves. Like, when mm -hmm. you asked me about, like, my embarrassing moments that were aired on the show, like, if there was yeah. anything you didn't want aired. Yeah. No, because in my opinion, like, it is what it is. You did it, you said it, own it, keep, keep pushing, you know? Mm -hmm. So some people can't be around that mentality or they take it as, like you're bragging or you're not being real with yourself and whatever. But in reality, it's like I'm being very real with myself, which is why I don't have the insecurities that, you know, some people do have. Yeah. And that's what it really is, right? It's like a lot of your insecurities are coming from not being honest with yourself. So you overthink it and you Ooh, sit yeah. there and you're like, how can I change this or what can I do? And it's like, there's nothing you can do. Just mm -hmm. own it and be yeah. good and be cool, you know? Um, I had a lot of girls in my past, like, like, for example, I had a friend when I was filming The Circle, mm -hmm. and I introduced her to, like, so many photographers in the area, just, like, helped her get on her feet in social media, and when I went onto The Circle, she got so jealous. Ooh, a secret hater. Like, so jealous. Like, she stopped talking to me four days before filming, mm -mm. and she cut her hair into a Bobbiana like me. <laughs> not a Bobbiana. But imagine when I was on The Circle filming, I came back to us not speaking at all and her cutting her in a bob and then like Stop. her trying to just like do a lot of the things that I did. Yeah. And it's like, honey, like being an inspiration to people is great, but mm -hmm. like own it and like, you know, let's talk about it. Like, yeah. I don't want to come back and my friend looks like me. Like that's right. a little, that's a little weird. Like, yeah. let's be real, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have had a lot of friendship breakups and a lot of it is because of jealousy. And honestly, it's real. So I'm, it's not like I think I'm the best person in this world. No, but jealousy is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And not even just for women, for men too. So yeah, it was a lot of friendships break up because of jealousy and then they just can't handle being around someone who just accepts themselves for who they are instead yeah. of just accepting the beauty in it and wanting to like, you know, have that be contagious and you know, we can all work on each other with each other. Like, why does it have to be a competition or a battle? Right. I don't know. There's like going back to we're all in our own lane. It doesn't need to be yeah. that that serious. Those friends that like they are they're good when you're like here. Yep. The minute you get to like a higher level yep. of them, it's like ooh, everything becomes competition. They yeah. love to see you beneath. Are right, like or right with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not a real friend. Like, no, it's yeah. not. And and but it sucks sometimes, right? Because it's hard, especially for someone like me. Like, I really fall in love with my friendships. Mm -hmm. I really fall in love with my people. Like, I'm a very gushy mushy girl or whatever. <laughs> so like, it's very. I I really do get heartbroken and it's yeah. sad. And it's like I always want my friends to do more. And like I always tell my people, I'm like, look, the minute in the day I become a millionaire, like you guys will be too because. Yeah. I want to share everything with my people. Mm -hmm. But some people just get jealous and then they just take it the wrong way or they don't, whatever. So yeah. now I pick that up so quick and I can see it in people's faces or the way their demeanor is. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm so quick to call it out too. Like, when you see, when you deliver good news, notice how a friend is. Of course. Because the way that they react to it, even if they're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like the little after, like, mm -hmm. or like their facial expressions, it's so like. The twitch telling. of an eyebrow. It's so telling. And it's so funny because people think they're so slick. Like, I know. you can smell jealousy from a mile away. Mm -hmm. And you can see it from a mile away. Like, yeah. I actually just had a conversation with um, a girl. Like, we, we actually recently kind of, you know, just went through a little friendship bump in the Tiffy. road or breakup. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I, I, I could see her face. And I was like, 
what's up with your face? Like, I, like when it comes to jealousy or if I see your intentions go bad, I'm so, it, that, that's a really easy way to piss me off. Yeah. That's a very easy way to piss me off because like we're sitting here trying to have a conversation with each other and like try to work on things. And I just told you one thing and your whole face changed. Fix your face or don't talk to me. Ooh. Period. Once you get older, your circle gets smaller. Yeah. you're doing things right. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, Hi. honey. Just tell I'm me so you want to feed me. <laughs> So, all right, you don't need to take me out I'm to dinner. I'm sorry. Right here. I'm sorry. But these, I think this is like, if we learned oh, anything God. today, this. <laughs> we need to just do our own ad with this stuff. I know, sweethearts, babe. Whip it around town. Mm, period. Friends in the 20s. Mm -hmm. What would you say, like, for the girls? Because you're about to move to and, like, moving to a new city. So freaking hard to make friends, just yeah. in general. Like, yeah. I feel like people don't... If you have your set core friends, that's amazing. But, like, finding really cool friends in your 20s is so hard. Like, it is, it is. I feel like the older you get, it's harder to find friends because you're so set in, like, a routine or how mm. you're already living life. And you're kind of, like, the friend... Like, gaining new friends are sometimes, like, the last of your priorities. But, honestly, for myself, at least... It's doing things that I like, and then if I'm meeting people while I'm doing things that I like, that's how I'm meeting new friends, yeah. but that's it. Yeah. If I'm not, like, at an event or doing something, like, or, you know, working or, I don't know, at just, like, a restaurant or something or on social media, right, because the girlies and I will go back and forth sometimes, yeah. like, then I couldn't even imagine making new friends, you know? Oh, yeah. My newest friends are actually from the reality TV world. Okay. So, Makes sense. Yeah. You so, go through like an experience together. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We trauma bond as well. Yeah. That's a for sure trauma bond. <laughs> so they're like my newest friends, but it is, it is harder. And I feel like people are more set in their ways and that's not their priority right now. Where when yeah. we're younger, we want all the friends. You want to mm -hmm. do so many things. You want to be invited anywhere. At least for myself now, I'm just like, oh, whatever. My girl knows I love her. I don't need to call her back right now. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? You have like the, the friends that you like have to check in all the time. Mm -hmm. Then you have like the low mace and besties. Low mm -hmm. maintenance. I can't tell. There's you. levels to yeah, your friendships. Yeah, there totally is. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. And I think for me, I have my best friends. Yeah. I'm so good. I'm yeah. not looking for new best friends. Like <laughs> it's closed. If you guys thought the roster would be open. She has a roster for dating. I do. And yeah. for maybe like, you know, we can all be friends, but best friends. No, like they, my best friends and I have gone through things in life that most best friends wouldn't even go through with each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I love them. Shout out to them. Like I'm not looking for anything new there. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. We're off the table. Mm -hmm. Just put yourself out there. It's kind of like a dating app. Like put yourself out there. And honestly, I know it's so true. Girls bond over social media. So like, much. I love, like I have like a core, like social media group. Exactly. I'm like, I never met you, but you like every photo you comment on everything. Right. Like, or like inspo, like I have this one girl I love on Instagram and like, she followed me and I was like, Oh my God, you know? And then like, she's telling me she's switching up her hair. Cause I switch up my hair so much. Uh -huh. And she's like, Oh, it's inspo. And I was like, girl, you just gave me inspo, yeah. you know? So like just finding that common ground, but like social media for me now with the girl, Mm -hmm. I made new friends. Yeah. Yeah. Social media does bring people together. It does, yeah. It tears people apart, but it also brings people together. We're going to play a game of truth or dare. Ooh. It's going to get spicy. It's going to get fun. <laughs> I usually don't play this game. <laughs> I hate truth or dare. I know. It gives but anxiety. But I love it for this. Okay. okay, let's do it. Do you have anxiety? Um, not really, but <laughs> just, you know. Just right now. Okay. Just right okay. now. Truth or dare. Oh, let's just rip the bandit off. Give me a dare. Ooh. <laughs> what did I sign up for? I dare you. To call a cast member from Perfect Match and confess your love to them right now. Live. Guy or girl? Guy. Oh my god! Come on, please. What if they don't answer? That's embarrassing. Then you, then you just dodged a bullet. Oh my god, I'm scared. Confess my love to them? Okay. Hello! Can you answer? I'm trying to confess my love to you. Oh my god. I got left on red. <laughs> no. Uh... Alright, bye. I'm not confessing nothing to you. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> So am I out of the am I in the clear? Oh, I kind of want to try one more person. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Because if someone picks up, this oh my would god, be, I'm scared. Wait, can it be? Can it be anyone from any season or my season? Can it be like the perfect match season one or season two or just season two? It will be people we know. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> so I just I just had to tell you something real quick. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I think. Um, you are absolutely so hot and I think you have a great personality and I don't want you to see anybody else. And yes, I will be the plus one to your wedding. <laughs> wow. Wait, can I tell him what's going on, please? Yeah. Nikki, everybody, hi. everybody say hi to daddy Nick. Hi. 
I'm doing a podcast right now, and I got dared. I got dared to call you and confess my love to you. It's Daddy Nick, everybody. <laughs> I, it was a dare. Don't kill me, okay? But I, I got the girls out for you and everything. <laughs> he's so he's gonna kill me right now. I don't know. I don't know why Xanthi's acting like she doesn't call me every day. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's keep it real now. Let's keep it real now. Anyways, I'll definitely call you. I'll definitely call you later so we can chat. But I got dared, and I was like, who's better than Daddy Nick? You know what I mean? Wait. So now I don't know. Is this a bit, or are you actually able to? It was a bit. I love you very much. But oh, for the wedding. Yeah. No, we can do the wedding. We'll go. I'll be your plus one to the wedding. Everyone heard it now. We're doing we're, yeah, it. Yeah, we're all holding you accountable. You have to go. <laughs> okay? All right. All right. All right. Bye, love. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye. It's so bad because Nick literally asked me like a few weeks ago if I would be like the plus one to his wedding because it's in New England. And I was like, hell yeah. I'll do it. So I was like. No, you have to do it now. Nick has a crush on me. He doesn't want to admit it, but he does. Bye. Oh, he's cute. I would too. He's huge. His little haircut yeah. gives him daddy. Yeah. <laughs> daddy. Yeah, but yeah, okay. daddy. Okay, that was fun. Daddy Chill. All right, next one, truth or dare. All right, let's do truth Ooh. just so we can switch it up. Okay, we're going to do a truth. <laughs> Have you ever faked a connection on Perfect Match to stay in the game? No. Nope. And that's why I went home, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I gave everyone a shot that I would think, like, maybe this could work, maybe it isn't. And then the minute it was, like, donezo, I was like, all right, bye. Period. That's it. Okay. I love that. Nice truth and quick. Or dare. Truth or dare. All right, let's let's do. Oh my god, let's do one more idea just because okay, that was okay, really okay. fun, and I got my adrenaline. I going. know, I know, it got me like I was like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Are you on dating apps? No. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a traditional girl. You wait, have you ever been on dating apps? Never. What? Because I want to meet someone naturally. Period. And I always have so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> that works, right? Knock on wood. Okay, fine, okay. Wow, that's good. Honestly, never, I was never. such like an anti. And then... People have made fake accounts for me, and then I'll get like a million follows from like Saudi or like a million follows from like random places, and I'm like, that's not me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if the price is right and you want to take us out, fly us first class. Two for one special. Yes. We want to go to Dubai. We want to go to Dubai. Thank we you. Want to Shopping. Shop. Ride camels. Yalla. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Yellow, like, let's go. Well, okay, this one's going to be a little saucy then. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Okay. Send a DM to a perfect match cast member you never got along with and ask them out. Oh, my God. I had to throw up real quick. Yes, if you want. Maybe we should, just because I'm like... I kind of want you to. Yeah, just come on, fuck it. Yeah, but how do I sit there... Okay, wait, hold on for a second. How They're going to look at me crazy because, I'll tell you why. Watch. I literally... Basically, like, go on Instagram saying I was not interested in any single one of them, and then I go. And okay, well, girl girls, we change our minds. We change our minds. Every day. That, okay, cast member, a guy, so obviously a guy that I don't like. Do I message Harry Jowsey? No, that's going to end up in the freaking no, vlog. No, His ass is going to sit there and be like. Eat this Cheeto. <laughs> do it. Oh, my God. Please, please. We what do I, wait, what you. do I do? I have to ask him on a date? Yeah. Be like, hey, I'm in town. I'm in L.A. This is perfect. I'm in oh L.A. Oh, my God, no! You can, easily, you can just tell him it was our podcast later. <laughs> Come on. All right, you know what? I don't even really care what Harry has to think about me, so it's fine. That's what we're saying, remember? Okay, we ready? Everybody thinks about us. Just so we're clear, mm -hmm. me and Harry have never DM'd, okay? Okay. Never ever. We're seeing Don't even follow first. each other. I'm definitely going to delete this afterwards. <laughs> Harry, can we go on a date, okay? Okay. Ugh, I can't right now. You Come have on. to press send because so I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it. I send it, I send it, I send it, I send it. I can't. I Not Harry Jowsey. Oh my mm. god. I fucking love it. Okay, I think we're gonna probably end it on that. Yeah. Not our Cheeto was... mouths and our Cheeto hands. Like I'm my gonna... mouth full of Cheetos. Look at our tongues. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher your name, Xanthi. 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 Period. Xanthi. Xanthi. <laughs> yes, girl. That's so funny. Okay. Well, thank you for being on this first ever Sweet Treat Run. No, it's my pleasure. Like, shout out to girls and shout out to you. This was amazing. Oh, thank you. Honestly, yeah, thank you for having me. Yay. Snaps. Thank you for being here. Snaps all around for Miss Xanthi and Bob. 
Oh, Bobby Anna! <laughs> How'd I forget about her? She's gonna get mad at me later. Harry Jowsey? I love that. Dude, that was like. I unsent that shit so quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>